better be good. Yeah, well, it seems that Brayden's Delaware Corporation is actually being directed by remote control by another corporation. Big surprise. Well, I'm surprised. Why would he go to such an extent to hide his identity? I don't know, but it's not good. You're saying that because you've seen this before? This guy could be very dangerous. What's his paper trail look like? Meaningless. There's got to be something somewhere. I mean, uh, uh, an address book, a diary, some, some letters. Uh, maybe I'll take a little stroll over to the Valley Inn, take a look-see at his room. Brilliant idea. I am with you. No, no, I work solo, remember? Oh, yeah. You think you work solo. You think I'm gonna send you off to get busted for breaking and entering all by yourself? What would Mama say? Now, be careful, you guys, all right? I don't want to have to explain to Mama either. Let's go, Ruck. <laughs> look, look. Don't take any unnecessary chances, okay? Hey. Like you said, it might be dangerous. We're pros, remember? <clears throat> like he said. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Bye, honey. Thank you. Bye. sexual assault. That sounds pretty much the same Come on, it's five to ten years instead of life. Ryan swears you ain't kidding. Yeah, well, I don't buy it. Do you? Why would you risk all those years in jail? You still here? Thought I told you to go. Hey, 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 are you listening to me? Because I gotta lay this out for you so you understand it so you can decide whether you're gonna take the deal or not. All right, all right, lay it out. A lesser charge means a lesser sentence. Five to ten years instead of 25 years to life. It doesn't always go that way, but it usually does. Right, so this is the hook, right? The hook is that the judge could decide that Montgomery's all wet and throw the whole thing out. All right, so what's behind door number two? You recant your confession, we go to trial. After all this, why would I want to do that? Because you might be acquitted. Come on, we know the chances of that. Look, you take back your confession. They look at kids past the jury could be compassionate. Look, whatever you decide, I'm gonna be behind you all the way, but you gotta make this decision. Whether you wanna go for the deal or you wanna go for full trial. Full trial. Come on, Ryan, you didn't do this. You can't say that you did. You have to fight this. You're not guilty. Don't throw your whole life away. I'll take the deal. No, you can't. Think we get her out of here? I'm not leaving. I asked you to go. Now Trevor asked you to go. Please. Look, he got a decision to make. He made it. It's his call. It's the wrong decision. He's wrong. It's his choice. He made his decision. Come on, Jillian. Let's leave them to hash this out. This is this is wrong. This is not over. Now let's go. Ryan, please don't do this. Not for me, but for you. Please don't do this. I gotta warn you, if you don't take this deal, the judge could give you 25 years to life. It's a lot to think about. Do I wanna do this? I wish I'd never seen Kit Fisher, but I did. And what happened, happened, and somebody's gotta pay for it, Trevor, and that somebody's gonna be me. Something? Um, no. <laughs> nothing that, um, nothing that can't wait. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. I could use a friend. Uh, well, do I qualify? Uh, you tell me. I know you weren't too happy with me when I went to the papers. Well, papers is a kind word for those rags. Are we still friends? 
Well, you, um, helped me out a lot in New York when I really needed help. I, I know, I realized that it was done to impress Uncle Palmer, but I, I would like to think that you did it because you cared. I did. I still do. Well, then I still count you as a friend. <laughs> I mean, um, unless I shouldn't. I don't, I don't think so. You don't sound so sure. Things change along the way. You live your life, you think you know the score. Things change. Things you were sure of, you're not so sure of anymore. And you get hurt in the process. I don't believe in that concept. If you open yourself up to getting hurt, you get hurt. Well, you don't open yourself up, you don't have much of a life. Well, that depends on your definition of life. Life is what happens when you're waiting for dinner to take the bait. <laughs> 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 Uh, talking to you is always challenging, Dixie. I've just been thinking a lot about fishing today and home. I, uh... N you know, and you notice certain things, you know, when you're sitting there holding on to a pole for hours. Like, um, the turtles with the toughest shells always get in the most fights. They also survive. Is that all that's important to you? Survival? Sometimes it's all that's possible. You really had it rough, huh? I earned my gold card, Dixie. I worked hard for it. I, I deserve it, and I'm gonna have it. You wanna make God laugh? Tell him your plans. Yeah, well, he's laughing. <laughs> you see, the plan was all I ever really had. My life wasn't where I wanted it to be. But I put up with it because I was going to get here. I can't give this up, Dixie. Is somebody asking you to give it up? Oh, no. No. No, but um, <laughs> I used to have an answer for everything. It's that tough shell, I'm telling you. But you know, maybe you outgrow those shells, you know? You could let it go. Become a different person. I don't want to be a different person. Well, maybe it happens whether you want it to or not. Maybe, maybe it's already happened. That's impossible. I don't know, the Braden I'm seeing now, I've never seen before. I don't know what to do, Dixie. This is it. It's the one name fits all. Brain drool. Nobody home. State of the art. Oh, wait a minute. And that isn't Mr. TV celeb? Well, this was supposed to be a historic landmark. Yeah, well, not that historic. Well, honestly, they just must have installed these things. And then, uh, allow me. Mmm. Pretty cool, huh? Our tax dollars at work. Yeah, this is my own gizmo. Built it in the basement. A couple of spare parts here and there. <laughs> in high school, I used to hate guys like you. What's going on with you, Brayden? Visions. <laughs> Visions of paradise. You know, I... I had all the plans laid out. The people nailed down. What? Did somebody let you down? No. <laughs> He's trying to help me. I mean, you gotta love it. It's, it's ridiculous, but you gotta love it. I mean... <laughs> my whole world is... Is, is going down the drain, my whole life, just because he's trying to do me a favor. <laughs> that, that dumb, beautiful... Wait, somebody 
Okay, somebody's trying to help you, and that's making your life go down the drain. Trust me. Well, I think it might be nice to have somebody who cared about you who wanted to help you. Yeah, but you can't count on it. Don't you understand? Well, maybe you can count on it. Brayden. And that's the problem. This guy's rock collection. It's locked. Yep. Allow me. Oh, you're a better thief than a talk show host. I'll take that as a compliment. You gotta be kidding me. Who the hell is this guy? Listen to this one. It's underlined. I think love is like a lilac. It must take root in the dark to blossom a beautiful flower. Yeah, well, I got you one better. Mm -hmm. Little lamb, who made thee? Thou still know who made thee? Sure. It's like an English major gone bad. Yeah, this guy's definitely got a thing for poetry. Yeah. Or so he's a romantic. It still doesn't mean we've got anything on him. Yeah. This guy's clean. No, wait a minute. Wait, maybe there's something in the books. Nothing. Maybe even a library card. Oh, this one was under that one here. So, we got ourselves a secretive, ambitious, painfully neat poetry lover. What do you make of that? Not too much, but I can say we can call it a day. Yeah, and a night. With any luck, maybe Dixie found something. Listen, you want to ride back to the Batcave? No, you, uh, you go ahead. I got something to do. Regarding Braden? No. Regarding Adrian. You know, maybe if you told me, you know, what was going on, like, you know, who it is that's trying to help you or, or, or what they're trying to help you with, I, I could help you a little bit more. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I got a little moody. <laughs> <laughs> moody? No. I'll be fine. I really will. I kind of thought you were going to jump off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. But, uh, Dixie, thanks for listening. Sure. Sure. Anytime. fool you take me for but if you've got some kind of private fight going on with your mother that's none Look, of my why do I have business. to keep talking about my mother you kept telling me how much you wanted me well, that's before we got here and your mother met us at the door with milk and cookies I'm sorry no well, way okay? I didn't realize what a chicken you were okay little rich girl I'll tell you what you find us a private place for two or three hours and I'll show you what kind of a chicken I am right now I'm going back to the goalpost Yo. Seeing as you're so cute, I'll give you a rain check. You got it, sweetheart. I'll show you out. Well, uh, Marion, as long as I'm here, I might as well find out. Are you still interested in doing the volunteer work at the hospital? Oh, uh, well, uh, frankly, uh, Ruth, I have, um, I've not been well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's the matter? Well, we, the doctor can't find out. Oh, hello. Hello, Liza. Hello, Mrs. Martin. This is my friend, uh, Gil Barrett. Uh, hi there, Mrs. Um, Martin. If, uh, if you'll excuse me, uh, I've got to be going. Uh, Mrs. Colby, uh, it was very nice to meet you. And you. Thank you very much for the wonderful afternoon. Uh, yeah, right, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later, all right? Mm -hmm. Well, wait a second. Let me give you one more before I go. Hey. Um, Mrs. Martin, I'm so sorry that I can't stay and visit, um, but I'll see you soon, okay? Miss, can I get a check, please? Oh, yeah, sure. 
There you go. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, and then this dude, he has the nerves to try and retell me the story of the bear and the bunny, which is what I told him. <laughs> so you completely forgot that I had told him <laughs> first, right? You remember the night that I told him that story? <laughs> I tried I not. told the best joke. <laughs> Wait till Christmas. Oh, well, you're just gonna have to. There's no way I'm gonna spoil this surprise. Just give me a hint. Just a little hint. That's no all. way. No way. It took me too long to decide what to get you. It's just right. And I'm not gonna spoil it now. You're no fun. Tough. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Scrooge. Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate the autograph, too. Sure. Thanks. Amanda. Hi. Hi, Jerry. I, I didn't know you were in town. Sorry, I missed her. You're looking good, Amanda. Thanks, so are you. I guess you're excited about your wedding, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about you and Greg? Have you guys made any plans yet? Plans? You mean for getting married? Mm-hmm. That's what I heard. You guys are getting ready to take the big step. Who'd you hear that from? Mrs. Nelson, I think. She told my mother. Uh, well, there's nothing official yet, but uh, Greg and I are very close. Well, and we spend good. A lot Who knows? You might be engaged by Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, as a matter of fact, he has talked about getting me something very special this year for good. Christmas. Good. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Same for you and Tony. Thank you. Hey, Jenny. Greg, you're walking great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've uh, been without the cane for almost a week. Oh, that's terrific. Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Jenny. rules and all her regulations. You are still under our jurisdiction, Liza. And I told you if you don't lay off that I'm going to move out. Liza. Daddy. <sighs> look, I can't be monitored every minute of the day like a child. I will not have you flaunt your disobedience and as I'm my And I'm not flaunting anything. She said she'd lay off and she's not. I have a right to check into her activities, Larry. All right, now let's simmer down. And talk some sense. And I know it is difficult for us to accept the fact that Liza is growing up. That's right, Daddy, and I can live my life as I please. Well, you certainly have been taught the proper values. And I think you should be allowed to try your wings without any parental interference. Don't you think so, Marion? If you say so, Larry. Now, what was the problem this time around? <laughs> Enjoy this. It's been nice getting to know you.